I am just an aging drummer boy And the boys I used to play And I've called it to the many a torture session Now they say my am a bar criminal And I'm fading away Father, please heed my tongue I have legalized robbery, called it Billy. I wanted the money, and I hid like a thief. Rewritten history with my armies and my crooks, invented memory. I didn't burn all the books, and I could still hear his laughter, and I could still hear his song. The man's too big, the man's too strong Now that's a huge request, probably the most requested song yet, and I'm happy to deliver. You can guess a couple of reasons why people want me to discuss this song. Because it's a classic strummer, played with a pick, not the usual Nopla setup here, but certainly the one almost everybody starts with. And of course, I'll try to keep beginners in mind, I'll try. No couple standard tuning, basic chords. Is this Mark Knopfler or Bruce Springsteen? And this is a song where the guitar from the cover, the famous national guitar, was probably used. So it's kind of special and you need to be a very special type of person to say it's your favorite Dire Straits song. I always thought it's one of the most major songs from that period. It sounds almost like something Mark would write in his 60s, like privateering and it actually resembles that song and it also resembles the fish and the bird a little or redwood tree but that's most almost 30 year difference quite impressive my point is that a song like the man's too strong could be easily be released on mark's album today okay let's dive, dive into this it's a big song so i'll talk a bit more one of Mark's famous sayings is that his idea of heaven is a place where folk music meets the blues. And this song is exactly that, as many of his songs are. So he takes the folky D5 with no third and spice it up with the blues notes. And the introduction delivers the folky blues melody. And the trick here is to mute the first string at all cost, almost like on a battlefield. Just forget about it, except for the C major. And of course, I told I f I, I'll i think about beginners, and if you're a beginner, don't try to play it all at once. Play first the strumming. Um, then the melody. Learn to mute the strings and only then combine the two. And like in the magic trick, there are different ways to achieve the same result. For instance, in this line... Sounds great both with a pull-off and if you pick it.
This beat on C major, however, sounds better with a hammer on in the left hand. So that's the second time the C chord is different already. This one, I'd say it's G minor with B in a B flat on the bass. Just two fingers, mute, one, open, open, three, mute. And here is the muted first string, is especially important, listen. The best way to mute it is with a little finger in the left hand. Or the right hand. But it's harder. And honestly, if you strum more on the bottom end, you don't even need to mute anything. The pick is never gonna touch the first string anyway. I'm just an angel drum And here goes the melody that sets the musical theme of that song, which is a constant battle, excuse the term, between major and minor. Remember I said D5 has no third in it? That means it's not major or minor. But what do we hear in the first line? I'm just an angel drum boy. It's the third and major over the no third D chord. I'm just an ancient drummer boy. So that's already interesting. Next part switches to straight up open G and D. No, no third tricks or anything, simply strum away. At least this time it's optional and of course it will sound great with no third as well. I think as the song gets bigger and bigger, it benefits from the wider chord palette. It goes and goes. Sometimes go through the C. little bass move to A minor and on the last part of this verse it switches to full-on D minor again no no third but D major to D minor that's the point because it builds the tension and goes down to C and E minor The chorus and the man's too strong. This part employs a slightly different strumming technique. If in the first part it was rather a standard bass, down, bass, up, down, up. Here it's more like down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, down. You can almost sing it. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, down. 
-hmm. then a standard tuning, st standard strumming, and again. Talking about minor, then the song goes from C major to C minor. From C minor to G with the same rhythm. And from G major to G minor. And of course a brilliant songwriter like Mark Knopfler won't be a brilliant songwriter without little tricks and the trick here is to move beats a little bit in a loud part so the song would keep moving. What I mean is this part needs some careful examination. I believe everything up to this point was pretty straightforward but I feel the interesting pattern here on the first the man's too strong Let's count it. For the purposes of this video, I'll count everything to four. Man's to be. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So what we have here. D goes on the first beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on the fourth beat, I add open A to go to the D again. Let's see that again. When should be? This is the only place where even the seasoned player could get stuck, but that's not even about counting, it's more about the feel. I feel it like this. Then the chorus starts, I go to the C major and for a split second I think I need to play the bass line a little bit more early. Then I want it, and here it is. It will get even more clear without strumming, and I hope it will click for you. Mm, Again. The man's to be. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the trick is to not get lost in the rhythm, which is quite easy in a song like this. So practice slowly. After the hardest part, it's all pretty much going down the hill. The whole thing repeats from G major or three times and then it goes to the interlude from G minor to F from F minor to C this is 
is actually exactly the same major minor move as in the chorus. C, C minor, G. Here it's F, F minor, C. A minor. F major with some suspended two flavors. Again, reminds me of something from Mark's solo works. And from C to D major. Going back to the chorus, but without the man for the last time. And the song ends on D major. Which is an ending with a fancy name, I can't remember exactly how it's called, but the idea is to end the minor, minor song on a major chord, like Bach did or the Beatles did. Mm. And here in The Man's Too Strong it evokes the same feeling of sudden relief, suggesting that it's certainly a minor song at its core, but with interesting interplay between major and minor. So overall in this song there are four major minor switches, D major to D minor, C major to C minor, G major to G minor and F major to F minor. And given that song on a military topic, all that information opened up a lot of doors and thoughts and meanings, but that's another story. That's it for now and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.